go, but I don't see any picture. Oh, there we are. All right. As you can see, my hair is already growing back. Uh, his facial hair doesn't look so bad, but I definitely want to cut it. Uh, so, anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I was just, t for some reason, the camera wasn't on. It took a few seconds to load. Um, but uh, while I'm on, I might as well see. If you can see in the backgrounds, there's boxes. I have boxes. I'm, I'm packing this uh, some stuff away again because it's... It's uh, getting too much. I really hate putting it in boxes. Uh, one day I want to have a house to display it, but for today I'm just going to pack it and put it away uh, because I enjoy getting it, even even though I can't even display it properly. Uh, I don't even care, frankly. Uh, one day it will happen, I promise that. But I just love this stuff. Um, so today, uh, excuse me, I'm not sure. This is probably going to be... A, because um, I still have some stuff I want to show, and this video would be, I, I'm guessing it would be long, I guess, unless I go really quick. But I know I'm going to show at least one more video, if not two. Um, and side note, you know, uh, what I wanted to do actually uh, when I started this video was I wanted to start like another YouTube channel, I'd like uh, where they start saying, and I hear a lot of YouTubers do it. Uh, but specifically this one that I didn't really dawn on me, but it was like, I should probably open my videos with, uh, you know, if you're new here, uh, subscribe, and then, you know, but I always do, like the other people doing, like, rate, comment, subscribe, I really want, you know, and there's something, and a lot of them say to smash the like button, but it's got to be something to that, because everyone says that, so maybe I think it helps in some kind of way, obviously. Uh, sure, sure, that'd be great, but, um, I only have three people, uh, three subscribers at the moment. Uh, I, I wish I had more, not even to get something out of it, just to interact with people. It's just a big passion of mine. Uh, so I'm going to try to start doing my videos like that. But like I said, this, it started off uh, and it wouldn't show up. So I hit play and then that's when the camera turned on. Uh, like I said, uh, maybe it just needed uh, to boot up a little bit. But, um, also, that uh, I don't know, I've been given some thought to vlogging, but I'm not 100% sure about it. it. It seems fun to me, but then I'm, but uh, you know, I'm just just getting my personal thoughts. I'm just a person who likes to express themselves right away, what's on their mind. I don't like to, you know, per se ignore the elephant in the room, um, even though obviously no one would be able to tell just by listening to this video. But I'm you know, I'm kind of considering it. Um, I know I remember loving Instagram, and the thing is, most people, they do selfies on Instagram, uh, something that I'm not really opposed to, but uh, I like to take pictures of various things. I guess I'm like a kid in some way, and, you know, I like to take pictures of a lot of things that interest me, so um, I guess I'll have to mix it up. And I understand that vlogging, like, the thing about it is, I, I'm a person who doesn't want to be tied down to just one thing. Even if I, even if my dream came true and I owned a business, you know, I wouldn't want to be there all the time. As terrible as it's say, I'd rather have someone run it for me, because I'm, I feel overwhelmed. Like, but I'm also a person that thinks differently, like than everyone else. I don't, you know, when problems come and go, that's the best way to think, I don't I don't know if it's really the best way to think, but, you know, people in business, as problems arise, they take care of them as they come. Me, I like to tackle them all at once, and because I take, uh, because I do that so much, I feel overwhelmed, so I always need to take some time off, because I, I feel like, you know, I start getting, I guess, some kind of anxiety, and I feel as if I had a business, I'd want someone to, not run it for me, but you know, for say like you had a business and you had a floor manager, you know, like a floor manager would run the, essentially run the business uh, on the, that end. Um, so, or, uh, you know, like you could get like a, um, like, like a, what is it, president? Not like the president, but like a, like a vice president per se, but someone, someone like that. But, um, I say this because if 
uh, there's a couple reasons for this. If I became a blogger, um, I would feel like I'm stuck doing it. And also, I would feel like, you know, if, if it were ever to take off, that I would be stuck doing these videos. And the thing of it is, I don't actually have a problem with that, per se, but, um, like I said, I don't want to be tied down. I don't want to feel like I have to do something or I have to put up videos or I have to do this or I have to do that because as it goes if it becomes work it's no longer fun you know people do it because they love it and that's what I want to do so I'm giving a lot of thought to it and um, you know I might I'm actually thinking about doing it but like I said um, if you noticed if you watch anyone who does that uh, they'll do the vlogs um, and I also want to do like other videos and stuff like that, the loot challenges that I want to do. Uh, maybe one day it'll just, you know, maybe it'll be more about the challenges than the vlogs. I don't know. At this point, I don't know because I don't exactly know what I'll enjoy. I think I, I've been watching the Funk Bros. And I think it's fun what they do. I'm sure there's a lot of other people who who do great videos like they do, but I'm like, man, that looks really fun. Some of the stuff that they actually do. I wish I was a part of that. Um, but at the same time, I might do vlogs, and I just don't know. Um, you know, I'm talking to you guys, you know, the, the, the very few people that watch my videos, because I don't really express myself to. I, I don't exactly know, you know, what, uh, what, what's, I can't make any promises. Plus, like I said, if I start feeling like, oh, you know, I got to do this, I got to make content, and, the other thing is, um, what I meant to say a little earlier was that a lot of people who um, start doing that are officially titled social media influencers, and a lot of them start doing TikTok and Instagram, which I love Instagram. I absolutely love Instagram. Uh, I just love taking pictures of interesting things, even though people, but you can see what kind of person I am. I love, as you guys know, video games. I love retro games. Uh, sometimes I think I like retro more than these days games, honestly. Uh, these current generation consoles and I'll take pictures of cars especially old cars I love those uh, there's a garage up the road for me that actually has like a handful of them it's freaking awesome uh, and I love it and I'm like man you know I'm glad that I actually went to a place uh, that kind of deals with those but uh, once in a while we go up there and you know end up uh, for whatever reason uh, but once in a while we go up that way, you can see them. It's it's um, really awesome to me. Um, so I take pictures of those. Plus, I love to eat. I'm a foodie, so I take pictures of that. Since people love to take pictures of the food, I'm like, well, the heck with it. I'm surprised how many people, uh, which uh, surprises me. You know, I had a small following, but uh, I was surprised how many people actually uh, from all over the world were just commenting about, you know, oh, wow, look at all the stuff you eat and well, I shouldn't say that, but look at all that delicious food and whatnot. We don't have that in my country. And I was thinking, well, you know, that's because that, that's why we're so fat. You know, we got like a pizza place on every, you know, practically every mile around. There's a pizza place. And people can't get enough pizza and people can't get enough food. But, uh, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's convenience at its fingertips. And, you know, people in America, uh, you know, have money to burn. Uh, could be any doesn't matter I'm just any anywhere when there's money to burn there's going to be businesses and well people you know, there's so many people that just don't cook um, so going out to eat is like a norm in America practically um, but uh, and obviously that's why I was so fat again like I said but I was surprised how many people actually like I got so many people from other countries especially Europe just oh wow that looks good that looks delicious but, you know when I visited America oh man I ate great like yeah hey, whatever hey you know but uh, anyway I mean you, you make so many friends even even just meeting people you know, people will comment on your uh, pictures and stuff and um, I really loved Instagram I, I really wish one day one day I'll get back to it but like I said I don't want you know that certain stigma like I, I gotta do something here and do something there and uh, you know I gotta be this or I gotta do that and I thought about doing prank videos, but I just didn't want to do one single thing. Um, and I really thought it'd be fun to show, you know, the human side of things, like how, how, how it is to help people. 
And even though I can't afford much, just to put a smile on someone's face during the day. Because, you know, I think of all those little small acts of kindness and how maybe having a bad day, a rough day, you know, got in an argument with somebody, somebody you love, your boss yelled at you, whatever. And someone just totally turns that around. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, and I hope to show that too. And first, I was really opposed to it. And, you know, I'll probably get, I'll probably explain that why, but. It really has to do with showing, um, I have some uh, biblical beliefs practically and it really has something to do with showing, you know, bragging about the works and I really thought, or being, you know, being nice to people and showing the world and I really thought that putting that on video would, you know, show that and, uh, you know, like I was getting my reward that way, like, oh, look, look I'm a great person, but, uh, <laughs> And I'll just elaborate and say that I was really opposed to that at first, but now I decided that, unfortunately, the world won't be able to see it unless it's on video. And I want people to know that there's still good people out there. There's still good people that try to change the world and try to make it for a better place. And I'm not perfect, but I want to try to be one of those people for the moment. And um, there's no other way to show it than video. So. You know, it is what it is. I might elaborate more on that one day, but that's the gist of it. Um, so I've already burned up a lot of time just talking, but I just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at with my life. And, uh, you know, it'd be great to find a vlog partner. I've been thinking about it a lot. And I'm like, gee, you know, it'd be someone <laughs> fun to have someone around or whatnot. And I wish I was one of those people that just didn't care about it and it just happened to them because I, I think about it often. But, um, you know, unfortunately, I'm one of those people that think about it, and uh, you know, that's that's what makes it um, uh, even worse. So, like I said, if I was one of those people, uh, I can't tell you how many people, uh, if you've ever heard that saying that, you know, you don't find love, love finds you. That they just don't, you know, they're not looking for it. It just happens. Um, so, so many girls, like I said, I've, I've, I've been after so many girls and then you know find out they have men or they're on and off with somebody and I don't even know what to expect but I've also noticed um, that a lot of these influencers live in California I think that's because um, it has something to do with like you know like uh, I'll use an example um, like a lot of the game game makers or video games are in California so if like it makes sense that if you have something to do with that you obviously move out there uh, but it's also very expensive to live. Um, I saw one of the, um, uh, had an idea of how they were looking at a couple, you know, one of those videos that I mentioned, uh, they were looking for um, houses and, you know, you're, you're paying about, you know, 40, uh, 4,000 a month for a house. So, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. It's California, but I don't have that kind of money at the moment. You know, you got to make decent money to make that. I mean, that's, you know what I mean? That's almost fifty thousand dollars a year just on rent. So, um, so if, I mean, you got to I don't know what kind of money you need to make. Essentially, um, you have to do a little math. But I don't make that regardless. So, but moving out there would make a lot of sense um, because if you've noticed, a lot of a lot of media influencers do that. Um, although I got to be honest, I don't actually like the heat. Uh, so. Uh, that that would suck, but uh, that's because I also need to drink more water. Uh, I have a habit of drinking, um, you know, anything but water. Um, but hopefully that will change by then. Uh, but anyway, I'm sorry to ramble on. It's just getting some stuff off my chest. Uh, if you saw me grab something there in my arm, um, this is a Game Boy, uh, I think. Now, before I start um, excuse me, showing these things, I'm not exactly sure if I showed these in another video, so forgive me if I did, because there's just some random things here, and I think I might have showed some stuff, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but this is a Game Boy I got from my friend, and um, he actually, uh, this is a, <laughs> yeah, we, we went scrapping one night, and instead of um, halving the scrap, you know, taking it out and getting the money for it, he just gave me this. It uh, has... Um, Pokemon game. Uh, it's Pokemon Yellow, if everyone calls it that. Special Pikachu edition. Uh, but um, he also gave me 
um, uh, Prince of Persia. So you can see this is a Game Boy Color, and these are good Game Boys um, because uh, I don't, you can, can't really see it with my hands here. I'll, let's see if I can turn that. But you can still, even though you got big hands like me, you can kind of still. Um, well, I shouldn't say big hands. My hands are small, but you can see it's not very wide because I don't think it's meant for um, adults really. But the thing of it is, it is still manageable, even though you can kind of get your fingers like this. Uh, the Game Boy Color had some good games. I still love Super Mario Deluxe on there because um, it was a first Mario game. I actually remember where if you if you're a Mario fan, you get to the end. And it actually makes a sound so you know, like, uh, was it like 8-4 or whatever, where you're going. That's the one thing I remember about that game. Uh, I did have a copy, I remember, when I was living with my step-parents and it got lost. I don't know where it ended up going, but all I remember is their mother's daughter's son, who was very young at the time, grabbed it and, like, ran off with it. And that was the last I saw. Uh, they probably, probably left it in his room. I never got it back. I... I wouldn't even be surprised if, because uh, they had a Game Boy, I wouldn't even be surprised if it was in that case. Um, but uh, I have no idea if they ended up giving that back to their son or not. If not, I hope to get it, because uh, I used to play it a lot. Uh, so that's that. Forgive me if I showed that. Um, these games, I'm not 100% sure I showed you. I might have. But that's when I got the ColecoVision. And, uh, here's, and it had the attachment for... Uh, you know, the Atari 2600, and so this is one of those games that could go the attachment. Um, then, so I'm going to try to be quick with these games. Like I said, then that. You know, I, I think I showed these games. I think I showed these games. Um, this one, yeah, it's a ColecoVision game. I always think it's a different system because the way it's built. Yeah, like I said, I think I showed these, and I'm not 100% sure. If I showed these, I think I did, but I'm going to show them again. So then there's the second edition of Jungle Strike, and or I should say it's not the second edition, it's uh, the cartridge. Uh, it's not a regular, uh, I actually have one that's a regular EA, it's not an EA card. Uh, it's just a regular Genesis card, or Lethal Enforcers. Uh, this was, if you remember from another video, which you probably don't, uh, the Sega CD, um, and it came with a blue gun, and I think I remember showing that. Uh, I'm not sure if I showed this, but this one I... No, this one I got at um, the Exchange. I think this, this is a game that... I, yeah, I think that's the one that I got. Yeah, I think I showed this one for 10 bucks. Uh, I got a good deal on it. So I picked it up, and I love Donkey Kong Country, the original one. Uh, here's Super Mario World. Like I said, I think I got that. Um, like I said, a lot of these are various, various places. Um, some are very old. I got one of my favorite Nintendo games, that was the most popular one. I think I got this at the Exchange or the Pawn Store. Not 100% sure. Um, so I love buying systems with the games, especially the, the, the ones that are classic. I was going to uh, show the systems first, but I just started showing the games because they're here. Uh, this one I know I got at the, this is a, um, one day I'm going to have to review games, but this is a good game for the Nintendo. Um, it's very, it's not easy. It's a good shmup if you really like shmups. And I do. I've come to like them. Here's another one. Uh, I believe oh, there's a sticker on the back for three bucks, but I believe I got these two. Um, Dr. Mario, because I like Dr. Mario. Starting liking puzzle games. Um, and I also love the soundtrack. This is a game I loved that very few people... I don't, I don't remember anyone talking about it at school, but I used to think of this game, and Turns out it has a big following. A lot of people love Ninja Guide. And it's a good game. Um, and I, that one I got there. I think I got this one. Of course, I love Mario All-Stars. Uh, it's a little bit dirty here. I have to clean it off. Uh, and this one. 
Top Gear, which is a great racing game on the Super Nintendo. I think it's fun. Pick it up. Uh, like I said, I think I've showed these. Wario Woods. Um, this is a puzzle game. This is a Sega brand. It looks like a pocket organizer. I think I showed this a while ago, but I'm just showing it off just to make sure. Um, these games, and you'll notice I have some doubles here. Um, these, I'm not 100% sure. Um, this baseball game, what is, what is this? It doesn't even say Major League Baseball. I guess it's the original one. Um, but, oh, it's an LGA one too, by the way. Uh, some people think they're really, really bad. And, uh, but here's another Dr. Mario. Um, there was various people I got these from uh, when I bought certain stuff. Um, but also, my my best friend's mom had passed away. And when I dug through some stuff, she had these in uh, Operation Wolf. I loved this arcade game. I would love to have an actual arcade game of that. That was a great game with uh, Uzi and all. Um, Super Bowl. This is Tecmo Super Bowl. This is one that a lot of people love. Um, but uh, she had passed away and she, uh, my friend, you know, he doesn't care about video games. So, excuse me if you see me look around here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the box yet or I'm going to, uh, let's see, maybe I'll do the box here. Excuse me. I'm moving with the movies, um, but she passed away, and um, he, you know, obviously he doesn't like games as much as I do. Uh, he doesn't care for them at all, in fact, for the most part, and um, he just gave them to me. So, he's like, you can have them, it makes sense. Recently, he just gave me some more games, but he didn't care about them, you know. But I'm going to show you, these are two stacks, let's see here, two stacks of movies. Now, let's see, the twist this one here, American Gangster, you can see in the back, it doesn't matter. But this is literally how many movies I watch, like, you know, like, gives you an idea. There's actually another stack back there, but, like, how many movies I actually just care to watch, and, um, you yeah. know, well, there's a few more that I like, but, like, the movies that, that I watched, I just, I'm, you know, a gamer most of the time, so most movies don't interest me, but I do like, um, I do like movie services and stuff, because, uh, oh yeah, there's some, some movies here, and a couple games, yeah, but, uh, I do like movie services, because they could, they let me watch, uh, no, no, this is one game here, yeah, oh, I think, Okay, let me finish what I was saying. I always get sidetracked. But um, they let me watch uh, movies that I normally wouldn't watch or buy or rent. Uh, this game, if I remember, uh, like I said, there's a mix of games here because I never put up videos. So this game here, if I remember, I got it from a, I'm assuming it was a mother, uh, but it could have been, it could have been hers. It could have been anybody's uh, for all I know. But... She had a yard sale, and surprisingly, it was a Genesis, and no one bought it. It only had, it only had a few games. It wasn't probably anything special, just sports games. So she had it up for twenty, and um, you know, I said, you know, "Would you take 10 I expected her to uh, say, "Oh no, you know, I want twenty bucks for it." And I was thinking, "All right, maybe you meet me in the middle and give me 15 But she took the ten, so I ended up meeting her uh, near Texas Roadhouse. And I don't know, did I show it? I don't even remember. But it was a Genesis. It had like two controllers. It actually had the, believe uh, I believe the harder to find RCA cables, uh, a couple goodies in the box, like uh, it had like a uh, RF switch, a couple other, I think like a PlayStation, even the PlayStation connector. I mean, it was it was well worth the, uh, the ten bucks because you know Genesis are. As far as I know, at the time they were selling for, you know, the the pawn store sells them for a minimum of thirty-five, you know. So I mean, you figure you're getting it for ten bucks, and it worked fine. And yeah, you know, I mean, I think I even told her a lot of times when I get these systems, you know, I'm like, look, I'll, I'll enjoy playing it. I plug it in, 
see if it works and I know what to do, but uh, see what I'm up against. And like I said, it, it was a great, uh, you know, it's always exciting to me that I played it in. I'm like, this is going to have a good home. And I think I told her I'm going to enjoy playing this. And back in the day, I remember sports games uh, hating them. You know, because I have to be, you know, I guess, I guess I have a short attention span. And, uh, you know, my things have to be action-packed. But here, oh, by the way, here's the Lethal Enforcers. So he must have had the cartridge or the box at one point, uh, something I'd like to get, uh, the um, manual there. Uh, but back in the day, action hey, sports games didn't hold my attention. But, uh, so, like I said, these are random games. I think, uh, once again, they're a mix. Uh, I think my mom might have bought me this one, I'm not 100% sure. Because uh, she does the yard sales now, and I've convinced her to finally buy me games. But unless she just saves money, all she can find are the sports games. And uh, this one I got, I think I got this. I don't know, but it's, I don't know. I think I got this when I got the 360 at a yard sale, where I got it for free. This one, here's another one. I can't remember I, that one. I think I might have got a yard. So this one I know I bought because it's still sealed. And I'm a huge fan of Doom 3. I'm just showing that to you. Paintball game. Curious about those. I think I heard someone say they're pretty decent. Those three con. Uh, like I said, I think these games I got uh, for free. Dead Space 2, this, this one I bought. I just put it in the box because uh, at the time I got it for free on Xbox Live. Uh, yeah, here's, a, here's the Game Boy game probably. Oh no, no, it isn't. I got this for something. It might have been probably not not worth a lot. This is, I don't know, Marvin Strikes Back. Do you see that? Uh, I don't remember where I got that, but it's got a home with me. Uh, this one I was excited about. Um, I'll show you if I got around to three. I remember these. I played the first or the second one. I loved it, um, but apparently it, it did really well. But a not for sale. I think I might have showed this one. It came with the Sega CD. Uh, the tab was ripped off. But a not for sale Sonic the Hedgehog two. And um, it may not be a big deal for you guys. Uh, you might think it's probably not uh, that big of a deal. But it actually has a sticker on it, like an actual physical sticker that was put on. And so does the cartridge. And it's not... It wasn't one of the labels for uh, the original. So this probably isn't a big deal to people. There's going to be people who are, you know, oh, that's not a big deal. And, and you can, well, that's how new it was barely even played. But, um, you know, this, uh, like I said, it's not known, and there's a lot of not for resales. But I have to find the other one where the not for resale is actually not. Um, I'm going to put, I'm gonna actually put this in a case, but it's actually on the label. So sometime in between them, there was a. Uh, um, a someone, they were slapping stickers on there, which is, you know, like a lot of things not known to the gaming community until, until one day someone gets wind of it or whatever and it, it you know goes for 300 bucks or something on eBay and all of a sudden you know copies are coming out of nowhere you know as, as it always goes but um, I do believe that with those facts it's probably essentially rare but uh, because uh, you, you never know but because there were so many not for resale copies it might not be high in high demand 
Um, the same can be said about the Sonic for the Sega Master System, I guess. On the apparently there's an American version, uh, as some of you probably know, and it's like some kind of seal or something. And even though it's you know a game with plenty of copies, it's still considered pretty rare. Um, I'll have to look into that more. I remember looking for a little bit, and I was like, ah, I'm not in a hurry to get it, you know, because uh, it's not a big deal, um, especially because it's such a game that's you know you can get very readily. But these. Um, this I bought. I don't think I did this like literally two years ago. The town has a yard sale, and a lot of these, if you see, that the labels are crumpled up because it was raining, and I went out and grabbed stuff, even though it was raining. And I thought to myself, you know, uh, it turns out that people were putting out stuff later, so it's very possible. I missed some games. And I went to the one house and I missed, uh, I don't know where this came from, uh, but it was probably in with some stuff. But I missed some Genesis games, which I wasn't too happy about. But uh, this, this is the original John Madden football in a um, cardboard cover. So I actually have the original John Madden football, uh, which is pretty cool to me, at least. Funny, but yeah, like I said, and some of these games too, like I said, they were a mix. Um, they, I went to a uh, Urban Strike, you know, I love these strike games. Uh, here's an original Sonic, like I said, not for resales, actually, on this one, they're not for resales on the cover. You know, this is, I'm kind of glad I have this now because I don't have a copy of Sonic 2 probably at the moment. That's not that I remember. But see how it's, see how not for resale is, what's this here? See how not for resale is, you know, actually on the label. It's not, you know, you probably can't tell by the uh, camera, but it's actually uh, on the label, you know, it's, or on the cartridge, or the picture, sorry. Uh, it's not actually a sticker. Um, but with that, it's actually a sticker. So, like I said, it's not big in the game community. So everyone's going to be like, they're going to be like, oh, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Or, uh, you know, they're not going to think, you know, it's, it's, it's rare, but just like, oh, I got a bunch of those. Uh, but actually, there's not, because it's the first time I've actually seen one of those. Um, here's Sonic CD. Uh, it was <laughs> one of the reasons to get a Sega CD. A lot of the great games on the Sega CD are very hard to find and not the most cheapest ones. Uh, once again, as I was going to say, that these games, these PSP games here, these games, um, some of them I also bought at a uh, like a second like like a second hand store in New Jersey and we're not far from Jersey these are PSP games Smackdown 2000, 2006 uh, like I said I'm sorry the various games Pirates of the Caribbean uh, it's got a subtitle Dead Man's Chest uh, I'm just reading these off because they're here uh, Game Boy Advance title, ATV Off-Road Fury, so it's another PSP title here. Um, Dragon Ball Z Takatsu, um, I'm sure someone, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Um, I don't know what I'm in there. Let's see here. <laughs> I was a little excited to see this title here. I'll show you in a moment. Um, let's see. I'm to you, but I thought you would enjoy. Like I like to, I prefer raw footage um, over cut, but I get why some people would like that. So I'll show you these. Mad 99. I think I got that F1 World Ground Grand Prix. Um, I think I got these cheap. Uh, Triple Play Gold Edition. 
Actually, that one's worth a little bit more than the original, I guess. Uh, not much, I guess. Uh, I think it's worth it. I could be wrong. Uh, I know the Madden is, but International Superstar Soccer. I think I got these from the second hand store. Here's in the USA. And that's what I was excited about because I saw it and I immediately thought of one title. Athletic World. And I was like, oh my god. First I saw that, I'm like, no way. And I'm like, damn it, of course. Of course it's not stadium events, but I think, from what I understand, uh, this was a uh, rebranded as something common if you see it, but I think it was, I don't know, the game that that game was based off of, or if I'm not mistaken, like the game that was, um, it was like, instead of stadium events, they made it Athletic World. Uh, comment below, because I, I know it's something, something with that game, because I think uh, I think that game was the one that was packed in with that dance pad, or that, or not dance pad, but, you know, the work, the pad that, uh, um, you, uh, do all the moves with. Uh, hold on, I'm going to turn the, uh, fan on. Yeah, I got the air conditioner on in one room, and it still feels pretty warm in here. So, oh, yeah. Let's see, college, college football. As you can see, they're all sports, but like I said, I don't mind. Um, this was even got Genesis Pat Riley baseball. It's even got, uh, you can see there's a little blade of damage. But, uh, I really don't mind these uh, Tomasaurus baseball. These cheap, what people refer to as common titles, because some of them are fun, and you know, I'm always ready to give them hope. Uh, these. Maybe if I've shown these games before. Actually, there's a Genesis game there. Oh, All Star Hockey '95. This game's actually fun. These, this one, the football game. I think they're they're good. Um, okay, it brings like a more action pack. But I think Super Super Challenge Baseball. Um, like I said, this video is almost 40 minutes already. So, I know some people don't like long videos, um, so I might, I'm not actually thinking of cutting it, but, yeah, hopefully. I think these are all for the ColecoVision, I think those two were for the, no, they might have been for the 2600, but there's Donkey Kong Jr. Carnival. Yeah, I did play this. I remember back in the day when I had that Atari 2600 and a bunch of stuff. I never forget that. Got it for free. I wish I, wish I still would have had it because I had some good games. And it had minor, I could swear it had like minor 2049. And for some reason, I love playing that game. Um, I mean, the graphics, of course, when you're going backwards, because I grew up in Nintendo. But I mean, it is what it is. I just. To me, I appreciate games for what they are. I didn't look at it and go, oh, this, I mean, I guess I was like, oh, these graphics obviously are dated, but it was like, you know, hey, back in the day, if I would have been alive or if I would have, if somebody would have gave me that, and that's all I would have had, I would have enjoyed playing it, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, so, I have some games there. Uh, I have some games behind me. Um, I'm tempted. I'm almost, no, I guess you guys would be all right, because you know, I guess I, it doesn't really matter. I'm, I guess I'm a little panicked because I'm thinking that people are going to turn off my, you know, um, video here. And sorry if it's long, but I'm a person who, like I said, if, if it, this was reversed and it was anyone else, I would enjoy watching long videos. I always do. Um, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. I remember playing this back in the day and buying it when I got my first paycheck. Was it my second paycheck? I think it was, yeah, I think it was my first paycheck, and uh, I didn't actually like it compared to the first one. The original Quake, D 
decent game. As you can see, it's got the 10 bucks there. Uh, that was in the 64. And um, uh, let's see here. Um, can I have a let's see? Uh, and you know what? I think this this came with um, one of my. Um, packages here um, but let's see let's see there that was mech warrior as you can see I should I should say I bought that um, oh crap I can't remember where I got this game Super Mario. I think I bought it at. Uh, it was a mix of, mix of titles here. So I think I bought this game, at the pawn store. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, right, and that's it. Uh, let's see. Should I make this video a part two? I wish someone would like. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead. Um, uh, let's see. Well, you have three views anyway, so I guess it's not gonna really make a difference. Uh, Zombies ate my neighbors. I think I bought that at uh, Doom. Love Doom. Oh, I can't remember where I got this. God, I love doing. I shouldn't say I loved it on the Super Nintendo, but it actually did what a lot of the other ports didn't do, and it had all episodes, but you had to put it on a hard level. Super Mario World. This one I bought for thirty. You know, everyone hates this version of the Wolfenstein. Uh, Mega Man X. Crap, I don't remember where I got that from. Uh, I think I got that from someone off Craigslist. Uh -huh. This one I bought at pawn stores that are actually close uh, in Nazareth, where I used to live. But I bought it because, well, not only is it a game, but if you look, it's really, it's in very good condition. You know, there's no breaks or cracks on it. And the inside is really, really good. I mean, a testament to either person who either plays good games or or uh, takes care of their stuff for a person who didn't care to play the game at all. Um, there are more Genesis titles, like I said. Uh, there. I don't think. No, I don't think. Um, no, I don't, I don't exactly know. The st oh, I think. I think I got this off Craigslist, and it was. There's T2 the arcade game, which I loved in the Genesis. I still have yet to try it with um, the, uh, what is it called? Oh, that gun, that plastic gun that you get. It looks like a bazooka. Um, Mighty more from Power Rangers, the movie. I know one person, there's like three of them in the Genesis, and I know people say it's good. Uh, it's because it's like a Turtles game, you know, like an arcade beat em up. Uh, so it's actually a decent game. Uh, the not for resale version, again, from the original. Uh, as you can see, some of these are repeats. Like I remember, like here, for example, like there's another one. Because uh, I can't remember what lot I bought this with. Uh, Pocahontas. Um, here's another. This is a common baseball game I get. I find this one a lot. Uh, here's Sports Talk Football. I remember, I think I played this one with my friend. Years ago, and never. Uh, once again, another copy. I can't remember where I bought all this. I know I played it with a friend years ago. We used to play it all the time. Then he let someone borrow it, and he never saw it back. Uh, so as you can see, you probably you can't see here. Uh, let me see. Where's my? Yeah, but like 
eight inches below that are the games they're just setting up. Uh, I don't know if I'll the Genesis Yeah, some of these some of these games I bought. And this one here has become one of my favorite Genesis games. And one game that I'm like an outspoken person for. It's really good. Um, and I got the original copy. Uh, that can be explained because I'm going to do this a video about this, but let's see here. You can see there's like a lump. I never noticed that before. That's actually Magneto. Uh, but with the label, he somehow got cut off. But this is the original. If you get the, uh, what is it, like, the one with the yellow label on the side, like limited edition or something, actually shows that. So I'm going to have to do research into that. But I'm not exactly sure. I think this copy, I think, if I recall, I bought it from the Q Mart in Quaker Town. And I brought it with me. Uh, when I moved to my brother's house. So I think this is where I got that from. Unless I got it from them, because it's been so long, I, unless I got it from the pawn store, because um, it's very possible I did get it from there and just forgot. But this is a very good game um, for the Sega Genesis. And I remember thinking the first game, my cousin had it, and I remember thinking how bad the game actually was, or what I thought it was going to be, because I didn't really like the first one, like it was okay, it was decent, but I really didn't like it that much. And then you come out with that one, the graphics are awesome, the sound, the music are great, um, there's variations with the characters and the music, and so it was a great game, and I was like, you know what? I actually fell in love with the game when I saw my uncle play it, but there for years I never played it because I thought, oh, it's the same thing as, you know, the first one, and it turns out it's actually not. It's something, it literally looks like, it has the cover of a comic book, oh, no, no, well, maybe, maybe it does, the cartridge, but the actual uh, box itself looks like a comic book, and, uh, well, not just a comic book, but a comic card, and that's another reason I like the box, uh, the game because I remember collecting those comic cards back in the day. And um, I guess they weren't very popular after a while, but they, but I loved it. I loved, I loved collecting them, and they were, they were, um, it, the original box art looks like something from a comic card. Um, but these, all these games here, um, these set from the sports games, these games here I bought at the exchange, the pawn store. And Air the Acrobat is a great game. Uh, if you like, you know, side scrollers, you should try it. It's actually pretty decent. I remember my sister loving it, and I actually would get to the boss a lot of times, and it's actually decent. Uh, like I said, give it a go, watch a video. But it's actually not a bad game. It's actually a pretty decent game. Uh, I know Batman Returns on the Genesis gets a lot of flack, but I remember getting it one Christmas and I actually liked it. Uh, it was okay to me. Judge Dredd is another game that I think is decent. Um, it plays out differently. It's, it's hard to explain. Another you know, side scroller, but it uh, involves uh, shooting, but it's it's not bad. Um, now here's Jungle Strike. Uh, it's got a little damage to it. And here's an original EA cart. That's what I said about the other one. And here's Desert Strike. Uh, you know, I never hesitate to buy cheap, good games on uh, systems. Uh, so here's, I'm just going to show these. NBA Live 95. I said, I don't exactly know where I got these. Uh, Shaq Fu. You know. Uh, FIFA Soccer. Um, I know that one, those came in bundles. This one, I know I bought from uh, the exchange. I'm not sure if I showed that one yet. Um, that's a side scroller. That's actually decent. Uh, friend of mine likes it. Super WrestleMania. 
I'm not a hundred percent sure where I got that one. Unless sometimes if I see an inch cheap, I pick them up. Zelda, I'm gonna. I actually have because I picked up, bought some stuff from people, and so I actually have multiple copies of this game right now with me because uh, those lots came with those, and I just never uh, sold them. But uh, games that I've actually, and I should do a video of this, I've liked that I played years ago and didn't like, and now I do. This was one of them, Super Return of the Jedi. As you can see, it's still got um, you know, a label on it. Um, I think I think I got this. Like I said, I think I got this in the lot with that guy uh, that I bought stuff off of. He had like a, four or five games and a Super Nintendo. Here's my multiple copies of Zelda, so I'm just going to put them there. Um, Mortal Kombat 2, decent port, a very good port on the Super Nintendo, believe it or not. And as well as Mortal Kombat 3, which still has the number on it that I didn't pull off. Um, these are Nintendo games. Uh, pack in the Super Mario Duck Hunt. Cheap, but still fun. Do a video on that. This original copy of Dragon Warrior. This one was $8. Um, I have this one here. This one doesn't save. So actually, look here. Does not save, so I bought it. Uh, I bought two of them. The guy, the exchange, they have this rule about you can't buy more than uh, if you can't buy more than two things, but I bought it because it was like, you know what? Um, a game that I didn't like growing up that I thought was hard was this one. And a lot of people play this now. A lot of people love this game. I've seen so many videos with this one. And I used to think, man, this game's hard. I hate it. I don't know who would want to play it. It's boring. It's frustrating. Uh, you know, and a lot of people loved it. I'm glad they do. I'm glad I see people playing it. And you know what? One day I should give it a go as a game. I'm going to say X-Men. What is this? Just just X-Men. I guess sure. It says, it takes all your powers to defeat Magneto. So this is, this is the original when, X, when Magneto was a bad guy. Now, these, this game... Okay. This game I bought from eBay because I couldn't find it and I wanted it. And I say Ninja Gaiden 2. I think I got, I'm not 100% sure. These might have been from my, I think these games, I know this one was, and I think these games were from my late mom, uh, late friend mom, who passed away. Um, so he gave me these games and these were part of it. The original Contra. And I played the second one before. Uh, these two games were, I, I got actually lucky with, with uh, Mega Man 3, it's not a big deal, but this is a hard to find game, and I think the price went down, I really don't care, but, because it's just one game that I don't have to spend a lot of money on. That was the one that I got with that bundle of uh, me and Josh, uh, me and, uh, me and, you know, a friend of mine went to a job, and started talking to the guy and he had a bunch of stuff and I offered to pay him and that was two of the good titles I got. Super C is a um, it's about uh, Super Contra and um, it was a game I want to elaborate and say that that was the first game I played and excuse me when I'm looking around because I'm thinking about what to grab next so I'm just going to I think I'm just going to grab this box behind me, and then this, and then I'll show the systems last. Oh, I actually have that one, too. Uh, you know what, I'll just, that'll be last, too, because uh, games, but Super Contra is a game that I played, and um, I mentioned this before, uh, but the game was certain, so hard, and I, I, excuse me, I scratched my leg, and I said, I still love playing it on the Nintendo. Uh, as you know, I might have mentioned a few months ago, 
uh, the collection came out for the Xbox One, and I purchased it. And, uh, you know, I'll play the original on the TV here because it's fun. Uh, it's a little bit different with the Xbox controller. It's a lot easier to maneuver, but, um, you know, I still love playing the original on the Nintendo because it brings back those memories. It's the fact that I couldn't get past the first level because it's so hard. I know I played it for a little while and actually ended up getting uh, getting past uh, the first level. You know, I did back in the day, but I was died like shortly after. Um, did I? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll say because I didn't pull this out because I might as well tackle this because it's here. But this one is uh, all three Turtles games on the original Nintendo. I like. I used to not like the first one. The first one, like I said, it's going to be, it's literally going to be the backwards when it comes to uh, the Nintendo games on the uh, Nintendo, which Turtles 3 is my favorite Manhattan Project, then this one based off the arcade game. As you can see, you got it at the pawn store because of the um, number, uh, the, I should say label, and then one um, is my least favorite. So it goes three, two, one backwards. Now, remember, the, the second one here is actually um, fun. Uh, this is, uh, you see, I can't play with this because this is a really tight, um, I'm guessing his mom had got the uh, 72 pin replaced, but it's very, very tight and it's uh, very good. It plays like right away. That's why I use it. I'm thankful for that because I didn't actually think it was going to work. I thought it was going to I thought I was going to have to take it and get it fixed. Uh, I'll elaborate on Super C one day, but um, right now it's, uh, we're literally almost at an hour, and um, I still have more to go. So assuming assuming you're still enjoying this video, uh, those of you who care about retro stuff, um, as you can see, uh, if you remember the one video, I said there is a guy in town where um, he operates a electric shop. He does electric repairs. And he used to he used to do systems and he didn't he decided to stop that. But anyway he had this when I walked in one day and there's I think 31 games. Now this was definitely worth it for the price because they're less than a dollar a game. Um, I always try to haggle with him. He usually never works uh, because I think I've haggled with him three or four times and I've never gotten, I'm 0, with, 0 and 4 with him. I, I tried my best and I said, you know what, 15, nope, 20, nope, I'm like, you won't take 20, 25 is the lowest, here we go. Alright, whatever. I counted the games before I showed up because I didn't have any cash on me at the time and uh, so then I showed up a little bit later. Here's what I generally got. Um, like I said, uh, I think there was 31 games, and if they're not all here, they were in the mix. Um, so, and then I should maybe, I mean, maybe I'll count them when I'm done, but Skater Die 2, um, Fist of the North Star, this, this thing here. There's, uh, yeah, here's Mega Man 3. So, two guys for that, I guess. Uh, double Dribble. So, yeah, and I purchased this. Look at this. Like, I, you know, notice I got multiple copies. Super C here. I purchased this after that I got this game. And as you can see, it's actually in. Whoever had these games, I think he was, said there was somebody in a storage bin, and um, Operation Wolf again. See how I got more than one? Another, another copy of 1943. And of course, I bought all these games after. Here you go, another Turtles. But they're really good labels. Bought these games after I had purchased those from. The exchange, the uh, Cyber Stadium Series Base Wars. So, obviously, I have these. I have to put them away. 
for the moment. Um, excuse me while I juggle everything around. You can't see it, but the front of me is inundated with video games. W7 World Championship Wrestling. Uh, Josh, uh, my friend, my friend Josh would know what uh, uh, that cover. Those two guys, I don't know their names, but he would know who they were. Forget. But let's see, Life Force. This is a game that actually is pretty good. I remember playing this years ago and actually enjoyed it because it had uh, it was a decent, decent game. Super Pitfall. I haven't played that game. That's good. I mean, you figure the original pitfall. World Wrestling. You can actually, you, you can't smell it obviously, but if you actually smell the cartridge, it smells like mothballs or something. Uh, the original Metroid. Uh, Capcom's uh, Mickey Mouse, Mouse Capade. Mario Duck Hunt. Another copy. I'm never mad about getting that. Because I still that was one of the, that's the first game where I fell in love with video games. Uh, Russian Attack. I think that's the uh show you right there. That's if I remember that's based off of a K game. 720. Comment below if you know it is, because I thought Russian Attack was. And then Commando, I know that's based off an arcade game, I'm pretty sure. Um, Winter Games. Cobra Commando, or Cobra Command. And these two uh, Tango carts. Oh no, I'm sorry, one cart. RBI, RBI Baseball, and Pro Wrestling. Those are the games that I got for 25. And like I said, yeah, I didn't, I'm not going to count them right now, but uh, these are the games that uh, that I got for that amount. And there were any that I missed. Um, this video is already fun enough for people, unless they enjoy it like I do. I'm um, sorry it's long, but I'm going to go with it. Okay, so. Last video games is this over here. Um, so let's see. Because um, these are closest to me. Uh, these games I bought, I know these at the time when these, this was still very cheap. Um, I got this at the Quaker Town Farmers Market with the three games. It came with the Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn, uh, as most of the people know, that place charges more, but at least it came with the, the games. And there's a copy of Doom 3, but I think I showed this. Now, everyone complains about that store costing too much, but, you know, the problem is with, with retro games, it's just hard to know where the prices come from. That's a problem. Now, with new games, you know they all go for 60 bucks. SSX3. Um, so, prototype. Like I said, I got, I think this is one of the games I got for free. Um, Star Fox Adventure. I'm not sure if those, some of these games. This one I think my mom bought me. The other two I think I got for free. Single Hunter Cell. This was uh, that person that I went to Quicker Town with. And I happened to be there at the time, Casper, which fortunately worked out, and I grabbed their stuff and um, discarded. And I grabbed, I think this my brother bought me. Uh, I grabbed everything because I felt, if you, if you saw in another video, I felt that, you know, just taking what I wanted was wrong. And Monsters Pixar, I think these are games that my friend's mother left uh, that she had. She passed away and he was nice enough to give to me. And so I'm just showing you them uh, right now because we're going with this video here and this new events. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. This 
This last one she bought me, and I was stoked about it. And I put it in my laptop, and it doesn't work. The CD was so scratched up, and I'm like, uh, that's the one that I should take. The pawn store actually has a disc cleaner, and I should take that there so I can play it, because I love the Queen of Concrete games. Actually, I should do that, but uh, never get around. Or I always kept forgetting it. But, um, all right, so that's it. Not it with all the games, but that's it with most of them. Uh, I'm going to show you these. Taking my time, but like I said, these have been piled up for some time, and uh, I was stoked to get this because I don't. This is the first collection of uh, Grand Theft Autos I have on the Xbox, and uh, it was pretty cool to get that. Uh, gee, I don't remember where I got that. I think these were all titles. Yeah, these were all titles at a. A, uh, that big one, the big thing we had here in town where everyone sells their stuff. Um, but anyhow, uh, I'm not 100% sure what is what. I think these were all those titles. Um, these, these I think, were the ones where I got the 360, which I'll show you in a little bit. But these are all sports games, I think. You know, they don't, I don't think these were, I saw that the dad was there and the parent, you know, and then the kids were there and he was like, you know, hey, okay, how much for the systems? And he sold it for the kids and it ended up funny that he told me he wanted me to deal with the kid, which I thought was going to not be fun, but it turned out that he must have raised his kids decently because, you know, they actually gave me a deal on it. I said, I think one was 20 and the Xbox was 15. I think that label was 15. I think I offered them 15 bucks or something and they ended up taking it. So, crap, who's that guy? Is that, is that, is that a Christian dude? I can't think of his name. Uh, but yeah, but I think these PS3 games, uh, I really got a good deal on them because I got like that if you see behind me, that whole basket is full of PS3 games, and oh, here's, <laughs> here's a lollipop. Um, and I got a good deal on it. Yeah. Do you remember where that was part of it? Yeah, but anyway, I got all these PS3 games, as you can see those, and let's see here, um, let's see, here we go, if you see the sign, I didn't take that off, they're only a dollar a piece, and there was this whole thing here, if you can see it, um, I got them for uh, 10 bucks, uh, I asked the uh, girl, I said, hey, you know, how much for these? And she said, well, I'm not, I'm selling them for my, uh, my mom. And I said, will you take, you know, $10 for them? I assumed she was going to, well, this is pretty cool. I like that. With the, I assumed she was going to say no. And here she said yes. Um, I think, go and look, because I think, um, Oh, those, those, this, this is a movie. <laughs> Spider Man 2. Uh, Lords of the Rings. There could be some games mixed in here, but I think these are all, all the games. And I'm not 100% sure because I've seen some, some Wii games here, but uh, there was, I think, Battlefield 3, Gran Turismo 5. I mean, these are really, I mean, these are all decently playable titles. 
And I got them all for 10 bucks. So I guess this is faith, you know, that you should go to yard sales and all, but Excuse me, I got all this junk out of it, but um, I think we know that um, I don't know if I put it back in here, but uh, there might have been two or three titles that I took out. Now, once again, here's Skyrim, so I get it once again after my friend had uh, purchased it. That always makes me feel a little bit bad. But, uh, so I'm just showing you these titles because uh, I'm not sure if I hold everyone's attention now, but with the three people that watch my videos, maybe maybe they don't even care. Here's Jason X, just showing that to you. I remember watching that movie. Excuse me, I'm just throwing them in there. Uh, yeah, and really, here's some good ones. I mean, the Far Cry series, 2, 3, and Blood Dragon, you know. Those were good, I heard. And I'm a fan of uh, Here's the Original Rage. This one, I'm not sure if this came with them. I think it did. But also, uh, I did buy one a while ago. So it might have came with the whole thing, but um, I know for sure that I'm going to look over here. I got you guys' uh, attention, but uh, I'm sure that I had also I had um, a Sonic Mega Collection. Here's another. Oh no, this is four. I keep thinking five. And then the one. Um, and if you guys don't mind, uh, I forgot about these, honestly. So I got Load, Metallica Load, Metallica Reload, Creed. Uh, I think this was. This was stained 14 shades of gray. Rush is, is there and live, apparently, because they have. Uh, I just took it because I figured it was the right price. Um, those, um, I forgot I even had them. I grabbed them because they were there. I also remember going through them because uh, they had a bunch of CDs that had empty cases. So someone either stole them or they just. Forgot about them. Excuse me. I'm not a hundred percent sure if no. I'm not a hundred percent sure if I bought these. Uh, excuse me, I was looking because I know that the this one was part of the lot. And I love the Sonic Sega collection, so I was all too happy to get that. And I not not 100% sure if that one was part of it, or I picked it up later. And Resistance, which was a great game. I'll never forget how awesome I enjoyed it when the PS3 uh, originally came out. It was one of the launch titles, and it actually started off really strong. Uh, and then it teetered off, but it was a really good 
a, a game. I mean, if you if you remember, I remember reading the reviews that um, you know, it in itself was worth buying a PS3 for. Um, so, so I'm just I'm actually. Actually, uh, let's see. I show it to you guys. I think I showed you guys here. These Mega Man boots were part of the stuff that I got for free. So that was uh, a bunch of awesome stuff. I never. I think I thanked the guy like five different times. Um, there's more games in here. I'm showing these to you because I have them. At the time, this was half a price. Probably. Maybe one day it'll be worth something, but I bought it because it was half price, and it was, you know, to me it seemed worth it. Uh, the game actually in itself is actually pretty decent. Uh, it's all right. I have to play it more, but it's a, like a space shooter, but it has a little more involvement. I remember reading it, so I remember thinking to myself, you know, oh, you're going to need all these attachments and stuff, and, you know, I remember reading the review saying that it was, you know, actually, um, a decent game with, without the attachments, so if you bought the game itself, uh, you were okay. Um, so, sorry, this is taking a while, but uh, let's see. I forgot, I had forgot I bought all those CDs, honestly. Um, but, Let's see. Original Dead Space. Uh, I love the Dead Space games. I pray that they bring them back. There's Rugrats. I'm guessing this is my friend's mother's game. Now these were Nintendo. These were the Nintendo games that I told you I got from. The guy where me and my brother went, did a job, got to talking. He said that, you know, he had a bunch of stuff. And uh, first he said 75. I said, Would you take 54? He said, Yes. And that's where that one game you saw, Chip and Dale, really paid for itself. Also, he had mentioned getting Rob the Rebel. So essentially, I made out very good on that lot. But uh, I'm keeping everything. Uh, very popular title. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Um, a lot of people say that's a great game. Strider. I'm going to try to. Like I said. Oops. I don't think I tested any of these titles. Uh, I might have cleaned them out, though. I usually clean them out. Pop on me. Chris Dallas says, I actually uh, know some people that said that was a good game. I remember. Popping it in, and it's actually pretty cheap. Uh, unless it went up, but it's a pretty decent game, actually. I was surprised. Uh, I was thinking, I think it's an action RPG. So it might have been ahead of its time. Uh, like our more research into that one day. Um, I think I put the spider. I remember, I think that's based off of, based off of arcade, honestly. Gyromite, a game that, uh, well, one of the few games that has like a converter or something in it. Was, and, uh, or one of them, I think, this one's light, so I don't think it has it. Dr. Mario. Uh, oh, look, here's an original copy of Duck Hunt. You don't see those too often. Stack up. The Wrestling, I think, there we go, another copy. Uh, Adventure Island. Thought that game was worth something. I get kind of confused, I guess. It's not worth much. Uh, top Secrets. Family Fortune. But, you know, what I think of it. Wheel of Fortune. I actually love that game show. Rampage. Like I said, this video is uh, thank you if you're still here. Kings of the Beach. Uh, if I it's Kings of the Beach. Yeah. Um, I'm just, I'm sorry it's taking so long. There's another double copy of Engineer Island. But uh, it's just, oh, here's another double copy of uh, 
right arm right here. Not come through, so I'm sorry about that. Donkey Kong Classics, it's got Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Monopoly, game it is. Okay, the pack in title. I still enjoy Mario Duck Hunt. Um, Gumshoe, I think this is a shooting game, so I remember. Caveman Games. I actually thought that was worth something. It's not. I've never seen it before. And an Excite Bike. I remember that title growing up. Um, I'm going to throw in a Nintendo Games onto this table here. I'm glad this table is here. So I'm glad my brother isn't here right now because. We have the dogs, and the dogs are getting away, and I'm just, you know, as it is, I got all these things to worry about. Um, these are just amassed stuff that I had never um, um, done a uh, uh, video about, excuse me, because everything was in a jumble and now that I'm moving everything I'm like you know what let me do a video of it so I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that's in there PlayStation controller oh great Genesis controller another Genesis controller these might have been the controllers that came with the Genesis but this I think came with the zapper came with the uh, Oh, and the rubber bands came off these. Look at that. That's a blue rubber bands. Came with the Nintendo. Also came with the Sega. Here's a little showing you the controllers here. I think it's, uh, I had a. I don't know if I show you the PS2, but there's the there's the memory card. And here's a an original memory card. Which you'll show you once in a while. And, oh wow, I forgot. There's another. Geez, they all come apart, but they all dried up, I guess. So I gotta, I gotta. Uh, here. So I think this, no, this is a, an official Nintendo, by the way, which I love. I love official stuff. Here's a six button. I gotta go through this. Look at that. Here's another rubber band. I, I thought I had another one somewhere. Well. This is perfect because this is going to go with this stuff. I guess I thought it wasn't going to. You'd notice I had it in a box. I knew I lost one somewhere. You know if that's perfect, then I need that anyway. Um, and last but not least in the box is the Nintendo system. I'm not sure if I tested it. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Get over it real quick. You know, it's pretty good. There's no yellowing on it. No chips that I see on the corners or nothing. And I think he said he put it in a box and stayed there for a long time. Um, now, here's the Xbox. This Xbox actually feels uh, decently heavy. I think it's because, I could be wrong, it could just be the system, but it's also because it has a 60 gig hard drive on it. I don't know if there's a bunch of games on there or not. But, uh, let's see. Right, here's the Saturn. I love the Saturn. It's underrated. But this is the only working Saturn I have at the moment, uh, right here. Um, so I love the Saturn. I love any system, really. Uh, I had a Saturn growing up instead of a PlayStation. I know I'm not the only one. Here's an N64. I bought this. Guy hooked me up at the uh, pawn store. Just gave me a discount on it because I hadn't been there for a little while. And uh, I've been looking for a copy of Star Fox. They actually have it at. Um, let's, let's go on. They had it at GameStop. GameStop does carry some games, uh, very little retro games, but they do. 
in the, here's the Sega CD of it, the original, original Genesis, but the second edition Sega CD. Uh, as far as I know, it works because I tested it. I think the guy said he tested it when he sold it to me. Um, but yeah, they, they do have some games and game stuff. I haven't, uh, haven't got around to buying it. And here, no chips, nothing. By the way, I want to thank everyone for staying at this video. Um, I think I pulled the, yeah, I put the turtle game back in. But it's so tight that you just pop a game in and literally it just starts up right away. But this this is a very, um, like I said, I think at some point before she had passed away, his, um, my friend's mom had uh, probably had a new 72 pin. Uh, put in unless, unless the off chance. I don't think this has happened because these there's a prone to problems with them, but it's very it's possible. It's possible also because he apparently she bought these originally, so it's very possible she barely used it. Now I don't know if that's true. More than likely, I don't think so. But uh, he doesn't exactly know. He said that I think um, some of these things were given to her. Uh, I think he believes the Nintendo was heard, but I think the Atari was given to her. Um, but anyway, I can't. I wish I could uh, show you the uh, pick up the camera. It's, I have it taped to the top of the computer because it's a stationary camera. But I wish I could show you. Uh, as you can see, you can't see it, but all all across the front of the computer desk here, all right here, and as you can see me behind here. Uh, and even some here on the couch is just filled with games. Uh, these are, like I said, these are um, games that I had bought uh, over the years, or uh, I should say over the time that I've been here, and some of the things uh, I brought with me so that I could play. Um, I'm sorry, uh, thanks, uh, like I said, a million, uh, many times over, seeing if there's anything here on the ground. Uh, to the people who uh, stayed here and watched this whole video, I'm sorry it was very, uh, very long, but um, uh, I mean it's almost an hour and a half now. But it's uh, it was just that I was showing everything. But like I said, I always like to talk to you guys um, because you're you know the truth of it is uh, I do this really because I love to do it. But I really do. One day when I, whenever I get some. You know, Whenever it builds up, I really just do it because I love to do it, and uh, I love to do it. I've, I've been loving it my whole entire life. I'm probably gonna like, you know, I'm probably gonna like it till I'm dead. And I also feel that, you know, it's um, collectors. I mean, I mean, they're out there, and there's, you know, like I said, I've met them. There's plenty in Pennsylvania here where I live, but um, you know, it's. It's very competitive, you know. A lot of I envy those of you who can go out there and you can get things and you can walk away and you know both have a great time. I, as much as I like conversing with other collectors, I feel that you know they're competitive. They're going to take stuff from me, and you know, of course, if they're going to get a good deal, you know, it's not like they might swing it over to me. They might say, you know, oh, well, I'm going to sell it, and you know, and it might be something I don't have, so. You know, I'm kind of competitive, a little leery about that. Uh, <clears throat> just the chair here, because my back's bothering me a little bit. But so that, that's why I'm not too keen about uh, uh, meeting up with other people. But uh, on that note, I really I turned to YouTube because I figured that you know, and the same thing with Facebook. Um, but I turned to YouTube really because I wanted to. There's a big community out there. Uh, unfortunately, my name is taken. There's like 2,000 people with my name on YouTube, but uh, maybe someday in the setting I can change it. But uh, uh, like I said, um, one of these days I just wanted to um, meet people out there, and that's why I started doing this. Um, you know, I guess I could make it a little more flashy or do the thumbnails or something, but. You know, one day it's going to be out there. I'm going to put different content. Just you know, haven't got around to it. But one day it's going to be there. Um, 
because it can be various things. That's why I kind of wanted a neutral channel. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, thank you a times a thousand, times a million if you're still here. And if you're still watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at the stuff. Uh, I know I got doubles uh, a few times because that's what you get when you buy you know, lots. You get good deals and you, know, you can't pass up on them. And that's the thing of collecting. You do it because you love to do it. And I'll probably always love to do it. And um, I always enjoy it. You know, it's always fun meeting with people. I know it's, uh, you know, since it got popular, since it blown up to the retro market, it's gotten frustrating. But for those of us who love to do it, you know, it doesn't matter. It's worth putting up with people. Um, it's annoying. Like I said, I like to do one one day do some research about, uh, you know, other people and their hobbies and see what they have to put up with. But I honestly meet a lot of people. Uh, I'm always interested in what they collect, what their hobbies are. And uh, like I said, this is fun for me. I love it. Each game has a story and a history, even though you know we might not like it or we might not care about it. Uh, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, you know, one day hopefully I'll get to make them. Uh, it'd be that'd be fun. I have a bunch of ideas. Uh, I always have a bunch of ideas about a lot of things. Um, but. Uh, you know, thanks for being here. Like I said, if you haven't, uh, please subscribe, um, rate it. I guess you know, thumbs up as they say, um, because I I'd really like to, uh, you know, like I said, I really want to. It would really just be great just to meet people, you know, have a community of people. And you know, one day, I you know, I don't know if this would ever happen, but one day, like the channel just explodes and people are like, you know, oh. That's the guy who collects games. That's the guy who loves video games, whatever. The, you know, guy who loves the video game industry puts up, you know, different videos, and I'll have to do that sometime. Obviously, I've got different ideas about little little things to do. Um, but like I said, uh, thank you for this. Uh, thank you for staying here. I've said it like 30 times. I really don't care. But if you're still here, I just want to thank you uh, for, you know, uh, watching this video. I uh, hope these things interest you. I hope you want to comment. You know, I hope you want to help me. You know, you know. Like I said, it'd be cool just to interact with people. I love gamers. I'll always ask people. You know, you can't judge people by their age. I always ask people do they love video games. You know, a lot of times I get no, but sometimes you know, like I said, you can't judge. A lot of times I get yes. So you know, hey, what it is. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed me. You know, I love talking to you guys. Honestly, it gives, it's, it's nice to be able to you know, get that off my chest. I have so much to think about and so much to talk about. It's nice to you know, just you know, get that out there. Um, but I uh, hope you enjoyed watching it if you're a collector or someone who loves video games. And like I said, this was a lot of these were a long time coming. This is over a period of years that uh, you know, little collections here and there that I never got to uh, show. And I was just you know, I was thinking to myself, you know what? I could pack it all away and no one would care or whatever and it'd be fine. I did that with some of my stuff uh, because it, it just, you know, like I said, I thought I showed it and I was like, I don't, you know. But uh, this was most of the stuff that I got. Some of the stuff I might have showed already. Uh, like I said, I just showed it to, uh, you know, uh, I was about to say that, you know, I couldn't, um, I didn't think it was right to just pack it all away and not show it. So and that's why this video is so long. Um, but, you know, maybe in the future, hopefully I can start showing things right away. So, um, well, thanks again. And make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like I said, have a great day. I hope everyone stays safe. I mean, this quarantine is kind of hard on everybody, but, you know, you have to get by. Unfortunately, uh, you know, stinks going to the store and finding if they don't have stuff. But stuff's starting to show up again, fortunately. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm actually surprised to see that. All right, well, take care, and thanks again for watching the video. Catch you next time.